Corey Steele. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. My name is Corey Steele. I'm a resident of uh, 174 Lori Circle in Newport News. I want to start off on kind of a positive note, uh, the things that I do like about the development. I like that it's going to be a tech center. It's in a great location, you have to admit. Uh, I'm a big fan of WM Jordan. I used to work at the Virginia Live Museum when they built that. Uh, I recognize uh, that development is inevitable, and uh, those trees can be regrown. Um, they're not exactly old-growth trees to begin with. Um, and that the wetland impacts, I feel, uh, are reasonably minimized. I used to do uh, wetland delineations and, uh, and uh, permitting. Um, but none of that really matters if I can't get home from work in the afternoon. Uh, I work in Oyster Point off of Rock Landing Drive, and I go down Cannon Boulevard, get on Oyster Point, go all the way to the end, and my house is near Menchville High School. Uh, that is 4.5 miles and that takes me over 30 minutes some days. Uh, that is an average speed using a GPS of less than 20 miles an hour. Uh, I often have to sit at the intersection trying to cross Jefferson uh, for uh, half of that time where um, I am wading through five different light cycles. I'm a motorcyclist. I try to do my part and minimize gas usage and road usage, and I often am baking in the sun waiting uh, because I am actually not moving the entire time. Um, some of the uh, traffic mitigation that the developer has proposed basically amounts to uh, widening some turn lanes, which we certainly do need, and uh, adjusting some timing of lights. I really don't think that's sufficient. Uh, there is a problem right now at Jefferson and Oyster Point. It needs to be fixed now. And what is being proposed is really not going to fix it. They're also relying on the Middle Ground Boulevard extension to help take away uh, the added uh, traffic that they're going to put at that intersection. The purpose of that Middle Ground Boulevard extension is to alleviate traffic at Jefferson and Oyster Point. It was not intended to increase capacity for further development. They will immediately add that traffic back, thereby negating all of that benefit. Uh, so a lot of these people I'm hearing are, uh, that are talking up here are certainly going to uh, benefit from a lot of the development here and have worked with WM Jordan, um, but I have a feeling that none of them are driving down Oyster Point at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so I am not in favor of the proposed development and the zoning change based on traffic, uh, and I would ask you to consider that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes.